so this is when, hey, so this is, um, one night was too many under this bridge for me, so I'm telling my, my kids the day that I uh, figured out that <laughs> my life got turned upside down, I like second story, I got a Beverly Hills, straight to downtown, okay, so, um, Basically, most people know my story that I was a, not just any kind of addict, I was an intravenous addict, off and on for 12 years. Um, I had a five year, four and a half year sobriety, uh, where I had two babies in that time. And um, I was genuinely happy, you know. Um, but, you know, um, I have good days and bad days, but I wanted to bring my family to this bridge, so I'm bringing my kids here to show them that our house is half a mile from here, and um, one night I had to stay under this bridge because I had nowhere to go, and um, you know, maybe I could have called my ex-husband, but at that point I had just, um, you know, at that point I had gotten to where uh, I couldn't really call anybody. <laughs> because they were just tired of it. And, um, but after this day under the bridge is when my, I still had three relapses at then, but they never lasted more than two and a half weeks. Um, this was a time in my life where I would go, I would go strong for two years, um, straight, shoot go. Um, so anyway, some people might not agree with me, with me bringing my babies here, but the thing is, the authenticity, for me to tell my children what happened. I don't want them to ever go through what I went through, which they won't because they have an amazing father. And I have, I have a great dad, you know, my dad didn't come into my life till I was 15. So, um, you know, I'm truly into my life where I lived full time in LA at 20. So, um, you know, and, and then I speak about things that happened in my life where I was suicidal and there was a lot of sexual abuse. Um, but I want to stress that it was not my dad, it was not my stepdad, it was not my brothers, um, and that's all I'm going to say, because I just want to make sure that everyone is aware that they weren't the predators. Um, watch your kids. It could be the sinner's brother. It could be, it could be people you know and you trust that may or may not be related to you, and that's all I'm going to say. But, um... So at that point, I hadn't had the trauma um, healing that Dr. Phil sent me to. So Dr. Phil sent me here to Willow House, which is, um, what is the big name of it? What's the big name of Willow House? Passages. I, I can't think of it, but it's like, you know, $67,000 for 45 cents, one of those places. I mean, you know, you can go to Tai Chi. But anyway, I hadn't been given that opportunity to get a trauma. I've been sent to rehab. I've gone to therapy. My mother's admitted that it's happened. She, you know, but she won't discuss it. So I had to go to a place that was just for that. I never once during the recording said anything about that to protect my family. But Dr. Phil figured it out and um, asked me one simple question. Where he sexually abused, and I said yes, and boom, I was into a house, which is just for trauma for sexual abuse. Again, you're just turning and tuning in. It was not my brothers, my dad, or my stepdad. Okay, so, <laughs> but back to this. So this bridge right here, um, this, these tracks, this is a um, popular bridge. You, know, you can see. Um, I uh, didn't set up down here. One night was enough. Um, I meant to start this with like a rap, but you know, like, you forget it, of course, when it's time. Um, but, I mean, it's really not my rap, it was Will Smith's. I do like to tell a story about how I got down to a bridge downtown, out of Beverly Hills, where I felt fulfilled. Here in Atlanta, I felt killed, I felt dead. I felt like my life was over because I was away from the ones that I loved in my career. And uh, it was just a tough time for me. 
and segue to another combo. But anyway, um, I think our friend Lot knows how to be able to talk to you. Hello? Is anyone there? No, there's one there, but he's sleeping. Well, anyway, um, I actually sat right here, and at the time, which people know me, I was a skateboarder, and I used to, I still tag, um, and I customize skateboards at this point, but um, part of my tag is still there, which would be the uh, mint green kind of messy, and anything that, anything that's meant green, I was spelling my name and doing Mickey Mouse, I was just messing around, um, I was just sitting at the very edge, so I was so scared. Looking for cops, looking, you know, 5012, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I prefer 12. 12! <laughs> um, and my phone was dead after calling my ex husband over and over again, but he was, he didn't answer. And, you know, I had to come to a point where many people didn't answer, but it's only half a mile away. I could have walked there. I was high enough to do so at the time I was shooting up methamphetamine and um, heroin. Um, most of the time it's heroin, but to be on this bridge, I, I uh, was able to get some meth to be able to handle it. Um, so these are my babies, Lily and Sienna. This is Lily, Lily J, and this is, where's Sienna Rain? Sienna Rain, and then there's Callaway up there. So my kids know my story, you know, it got to a point where telling them I was sick and in the hospital, um, it just got to a point where it's just like, you know what, they need to know what happens. Because one, kids are smart as fuck, they already know. Don't play them, don't, don't make them feel dumb, don't, don't, don't play them stupid, don't play them, don't, don't play them at all. <laughs> um, once they get to a certain age, they know it's, it's not just sick. In my case, I struggle with the mental illness too. So, I mean, in a sense, I was sick and I was self medicating, but I knew where to get help. I knew what to do. I had the tools and I made the wrong choices. So, it was my fault. I took ownership. And this bridge uh, means a lot to me because, yes, I screwed up a couple of times since because I didn't get the right meds. So, I got to feel silly to the proper place. Um, um, I can't explain the feeling when you just feel like you're going to die or you're just so hyper you can't calm that you're so, your heart's racing and all you can believe is it's going to help you to shot heroin and it does and my husband will even tell you I was easy to deal with on heroin but now I'm on the right type of medication that I'm myself and I can do it myself which means they can do it um, we were here uh, the other day for a photo shoot, and I videotaped, but I, I guess there was enough room I didn't videotape. So let's see if it's still here, because over here I saw a full rig, which means a junkie dropped it. Look, here we go. We got a cap. That's a cap. Did you mix your dope in? And of course the cotton is gone because we take the cotton to rinse. And I'll still, I still, I can say we, I was, this is who I was for a while. But so there was a rig over here and it was full of fucking, excuse me, I keep bypassing. Um, it was full of, um, heroin. Full, full rig. Had, I mean, cap on and all. Um, and back in the day, I, I I would have shot it. <laughs> I would have been like, yes, God's watching, looking down on me. He was going to be sick today. I was crazy. I was thinking crazy shit. Um, I don't see it. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I don't see the rest of it, but I took two sticks, and um, I don't want to touch it, but here's the leaf. I took two sticks, and I pulled it apart, and I threw the other piece somewhere else. But that was really freeing for me. Um, you know, for me as a kinetic learner, I've got to do it to, um, I don't know. I just I had to, it was just an opportunity to help me. So some people don't go back to the scene of the crime. I always do. <laughs> so um, 
Anyway, I just wanted to come back and bring my family here so I tell the story of the day that I realized this was not who I was and this is not who I wanted to be. And it, it is rock bottom. And being from Los Angeles and having a dad who's very successful and um, my ex-husband's, uh, ex-husband, sorry, um, say I was, I've been engaged twice. Um, my ex-husband was an NBA player. So imagine everything. I, okay, go back to the car. Everything that I had and it came down to this. So it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. I have been in institutions, I have been in jail, I have been under a bridge. Um, uh, all of it. Huh? Um, the fact that I used to be under this bridge just like you, and I'm no longer under this bridge anymore. I was just like you. Thank you, God bless you. But I was in the same spot, I actually tagged the back of that. I don't even know what you call that. What do you call that? Ghost. Yeah, right where you are is where I was. Yeah, so. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not reporting anything. Yeah, no, I can imagine. No, 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 it's just I was where you were. So God bless you and just know there's a way out. I promise. There's a way out. Ugh, I'm going to cry. Go, Cal! Cal! Sorry. So the good news is, is now that I'm living my life right and filming, um, you know, it's started with short films and music videos, but I'm still getting back in. Being able to um, be at Third Rail Studios and, and, you know, be back in a professional way. Um, even putting myself on YouTube in these type of situations. Even if I only have 60 something subscribers right now, it's still keeping me sober and keeping me busy and keeping me, or reminding me just where I came from and, and just, you know, I don't even know how to end it. You know, that was, that was tough. Anyway, so, <laughs> I'm gonna drink something really highly caffeinated. <laughs> Because that's my drug of choice these days. <laughs> Feel a little better. Because um, that's hard. Alright, thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, sorry I keep doing that. If you have any questions, or if you're in trouble, or if you need help, um, I know resources, and I definitely know counselors and places you can go. Um, I honestly don't have the financial stability at the moment. I'm still working my way up. Um, you know, you all know this is my ex-husband, he does as much as he can, but you know, we have three kids to raise and mortgage and stuff, so, um, you know, tithing is, you know, and he's trying to get into producing movies, 
but my passion is to help those that are still suffering. So what I can do right now is to lead you to places that I know are free and I have resources and I know a lot of people at those places that I can call and um, hopefully get you in. And one of the best ones is St. Jude's Detox. Um, and Melissa's the nurse there who does everything. So I, that's what I recommend for Atlanteans who are in trouble. Um, there's plenty of resources. There's halfway houses. Um, second chance halfway house at $75 just to get in. I know, I know, but if you can find your drug, you can collect that money. I know you might be sick. That's why I said you go to detox. It's really free. So you have seven to 10 days. I'm sorry, seven to 30 days completely free. St. Jude's uh, detox completely free. Um, and I. During that time, they will help you. Either they'll send you to the rehab connected right next door, or they will get you resources to a better option. So there are free ways that are decent, and St. Jude's is the one that I went to directly from that situation. Um, so I walked home at dawn and told Cal, you know, I'm ready. And uh, it's still, you know, it's been a battle, but um, since Dr. Phil, if, you know, I've, um, I've really kept it together. He really, he really is a good doctor. And I say mean things sometimes, but because I feel like I was ambushed, because I was, because that wasn't my story. Um, that was a piece of my story, but that wasn't who I was, or who I am, excuse me, but who I was even then. But, um, you know, she didn't mention child advocacy or, um, how I've helped the homeless, how all these things that I do, you know, I'll get down and dirty, and I don't care, and um, I've never seen my mom do that, but yet, oh, I was like, so dirty, doesn't matter, doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, if you can get down and get dirty, help somebody, pay it forward, pay it forward.